Welcome back to Dad Deals. In this video, I'm gonna be replacing an outdated broken DVD player in my Honda Odyssey with a modern 4K smart monitor. I'll be using the Extron's 13 inch smart monitor for this installation and wanna give a shout out to Extron's for providing me with this monitor to use for the demonstration free of charge. Since my van already had an overhead DVD player installed, I can use the existing wiring. If you don't have existing wiring, the Extron's unit I'll be using does come with the harness and instructions, but that's outside the scope of this video, and I would consider getting it professionally installed as it is a more involved process. Before we start, you'll need some tools and materials for this project. You'll need a wire stripper slash crimper, or you can use two separate tools for those. You'll need wire butt connectors, electrical tape, a screwdriver, and possibly a drill. Now that we have everything ready, let's get started. Step one is to disconnect your van's battery and remove the old DVD player and mounting plate. Most DVD players have four screws connected to the mounting plate. One piece of advice is to have a table or something to rest the old unit on since it will still be attached to the wiring. You'll then wanna remove the mounting bracket. The previous installers on my van used a piece of MDF that they attached to the ceiling of the van, so it makes it easy to attach the mounting plate to that. Same thing here, just unscrew the old mounting plate. Once you have the old wiring exposed, take a picture of the configuration and compare it to the wiring instructions. You should have a power and a ground wire, and in my case, since this unit has a dome light, I'll be using the door trigger minus wire. I won't be using any of the speaker or video out wires as I'll be utilizing the built-in FM transmitter for sound. To connect the wires, I'll be using these heat shrink crimp butt connectors that I picked up for a couple dollars at Harbor Freight. They're really easy to use. You just twist the wire a bit, slide it into one side, and crimp with a special tool that actually has color-coded slots, and you're done. I also picked up the crimping tool at Harbor Freight for about 10 bucks. If you'll be using the included wiring harness to do the full wiring, you can just plug in the connector and don't need to connect the wires this way. Next up, you'll wanna mount the new bracket. In my case, I can use the location of the old unit to ensure it's center and in a good position. Make sure you have enough slack in the wires and have an easy way to tuck them back into the headliner once you get them connected. I even like to put some electrical tape on the bracket wiring hole to make sure nothing accidentally gets snagged and cut. Next, connect up the wiring to the media player. One of the most difficult parts and where it's a good idea to have an extra set of hands is lining up the holes to attach the unit to its mounting bracket. A trick is to use a wire clothes hanger and push the wire through the screw hole until it catches on the bracket so you know your screw holes are lined up. Once everything is attached, you're ready to connect your car's battery back up and test out your unit. The Extron's unit can play media through a micro SD flash card, USB stick, or you can connect a fire stick or other media player to its HDMI slot. I really like not having a DVD player built in as it makes the unit super slim and sleek and it's just one less thing to break. Thanks for watching. If you've been wanting to do a project like this, I hope this gave you some insight into what it involves. And if you're interested in the Extron's media player I use in this video, I've included links to it in the description. See you next time on Dad Deals.